Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at uh, some data that I thought about showing you and it all started with me just, you know, yesterday getting this email, June vehicle update on your 2006 Lincoln Town Car. Uh, I never received uh, an email like this before and it looks like it's from Carfax. Uh, not 100% sure as far as why or how I received this. I mean, I'm not subscribed to Carfax. Uh, I, I got a copy of the Carfax report when I bought the car, but I haven't gotten anything, you know, before or since. But in any case, let's look at some information and we're going to be looking at some other, like, uh, pricing information about my town car and maybe town cars in general. So check this out. So, you know, I bought the car over a year ago at this point. And it's a 2006 Signature Limited. Okay, um, they're they're a little higher in the mileage, but that's because I've been uh, renting cars recently. So the mileage I think right now is something along the lines of 106,000 miles. So they're pretty accurate overall. But then this is the one that really sparked my interest. That my the value of my car, the way it is right now, based on Carfax, is $3,260 now. I bought the car for 7000 I understand uh, that this is a trade-in. I definitely understand that dealerships are out there to make some money, and I don't blame them for it. But, man, you know, I bought it for seven. <laughs> so it's interesting how how they kind of they value it. And, I mean, I don't know how much they pay for it, obviously, when they, when they first took it in. But we'll be looking at that a little later. But then, because I never got this report before, I mean, I'm kind of curious. It does look like no recalls okay oil changes i mean i've been doing my oil changes not at the dealership of course but at a private shop that doesn't record or report uh, any of that info tie rotation i do that thread life okay i am not 100 percent sure about this registration how do they know about my registration or emission inspection okay i mean yeah, it's probably accurate and then schedule your next visit. Okay, Gulf Road. So I, I did buy the car there. Schedule an appointment. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So and this is what got me interested. So it looks like I can click on it. So let's click. And let's see what, what does it pull here. Okay. So it does look like it opens up a wider selection here. Okay. So same thing. Rate your car. Well, it's five stars. Oh, God. So it opens up another thing for me to review my car. You know what? I'll, I'll do that maybe a little later. Don't have to waste your time with this. So, yeah, I'm not, once again, I mean, it's probably, a, you know, not new to, to any one of you, but it is new to me. I, I didn't receive this. The only, the closest thing I re received to this was when I had a Buick LaCrosse, I would get like these monthly health checkups, but that was through OnStar. So let's look at this. Um, okay, so it's got, oh, okay, so it's got some, wow, so this is interesting. So they, they do have a, some sort of a history report. Now, I don't remember as far as, you know, what's on the, what's on my Carfax report at this moment. But let's take a look. So it looks like it's got some interesting data here. So going back to 2010. Um, okay, so inspection, inspection, Grossinger Chevrolet, so I live in Illinois, so I, I, I do know the Grossinger name, so I don't know what it says, I mean, it doesn't really show anything as far as, like, any records go, past emission, oh, okay, so this is emission, and this is some sort of a service, but it doesn't tell me what kind of service it does, you know, or it had, all right, so some sort of, in 2013, my vehicle had Pre-delivery inspection, battery systems check, Fran Franson and Sun for an auto repair. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, I guess we could check it out <laughs> for, you know, craps and giggles. Okay, so it's in Algonquin, Illinois. An interesting little place. So my town car at some point got some service at this facility. Okay. Well, fine, I guess. Oh, I, I guess I could click here, too. I didn't realize that. Okay, Algonquin. All right. 
Fair enough. Schomburg Lincoln. So this is where I bought the car. So look at this. My car was there for 36,000 miles back in 2014. Maintenance inspection. I'm guessing that that could be just an oil change. I'm not sure. Uh, advanced automotive. Tires replaced. Okay. Four tires mounted. Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. I mean, I'm still not going to subscribe for that because, I mean, at this point, I don't need Carfax. <laughs> I, I, I know what I've done. Advanced automotive. Okay, brake fluid, rear brake calipers. All right. Oil change. Oil change. More oil change. I wonder, where is this place? Valvoline instant oil change. Doesn't say. Oh, here, Elgin. Okay. So you see, my car is pretty local to, to me. So it's got a bunch of these oil changes. Okay. Looks like, you know, pretty, pretty good inter interval. Okay. You had emission inspection. Oil change. Well, at least that's good. Oil change. Inspection. Oil change. Uh, service performed. I'm not sure. Okay. So 70,000, 71,000. So it barely had like a little over 100 miles and it already had some other issue and then another oil change. I mean, what what is going on here? I mean, I understand this interval. What's up with this? And then it skipped and then and then here we go again. Okay, so Sam Lehman Ford. Where's Sam Lehman Ford at? Bloomington, Illinois. Okay. Uh, vehicle service maintenance battery. Another oil change. Sunny King Ford. Vehicle service tire balanced. 2019, okay, so about six months before I bought it. Where's Sunny King Ford? Aniston, Alabama. Wow. Okay, that's new. Uh, oil change. <laughs> Schomburg Lincoln. Okay, so this would be right around the time where they probably got it. Okay, so pre delivery inspection. So I bought my car December 20. Um, 24th yeah right before christmas so okay and and so it's interesting here so they don't have anything for me buying it now they have they have this date but that's not when i bought it so i did i i did not service the vehicle then i bought it between this date and this date so i don't know why did they report it here but a pre-delivery inspection I didn't buy it until December 24th, like I already mentioned, so I, I don't know. I guess I could edit this record. Oh, well, I can add service, but I, I can't do anything. All right. And then, so this, this is interesting. So this is probably right around the time where I took it in for leaks in the sunroof. Or, or no, 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 for, um, God, what did I do? This, this, I took it in for airbag light. And then they quoted me some astronomical stuff. So I don't know why they, they don't have any details here. So I don't know about the, the, it's very questionable. Now here I did have an emission test, which I don't know if it had 100,000 or not at that moment, but that's what they have. So, wow, that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, the rest of the stuff, repair cost. Mm, okay, so a lot of this stuff is just, all right. Well, you know, let's focus. Wow, so I've, I've already been talking for eight minutes, but uh, let's look at this. This is what I really wanted to do. So let's look at this trade in value. I mean, I'm, uh, I guess I'm not, shouldn't be surprised. So I'm going to open up Kelly Blue Book. So my car value. So let's compare. Just curious. Uh, I have 2006. Uh, where is it? 2006, obviously. Obviously, Lincoln. Obviously, a town car. This is my zip code. I think let's do 107 thousand okay your email address i don't want them to email me stuff okay all right so let's select oh god i i wish i had the designer series but why is this lowest priced really the designer series is the lowest priced i mean i understand that the the signature limited is the highest price but this is not the lowest i mean if you have a nice designer series uh you're it's probably way up here but in any case it's a signature limited um select your options um well it's not flex fuel okay yes 
AM-FM. I don't have a cassette. I don't have a nav system. Definitely don't have a phone. But I do have... Nope, no, don't have MP3. But I, but I do have a changer. So I wonder why doesn't it have the changer in here? Hmm. That's weird. All right, so I tried messing around with this thing, thinking that maybe I clicked on something wrong, but nope, that's just how it is. So we're going to proceed, 4.6 liter, automatic, rear-wheel drive, of course. Yeah, I can't imagine a multi-disc CD changer in a signature limited um, uh, can, can do that much good, although we could technically click this, and then, I don't know, what is it? What does it say? Option. No, this option was removed based on a previous selection. Okay. So let's pretend like I have MP3 player. Although it does have for CD either. All right. None of that stuff. No phone. Yep. All that stuff works. Leather. Parking sensors. Dual airbags. Whoops. Yep. Side airbags. Yep. Alloy wheels. Not premium. Not 19 inch. I do have a sunroof. Uh, no spoiler. It's silver. Now here I will I will put good, um, although it does have few has minor cosmetic defects, but underneath it's it's quite rusty. So I think good will be good. I'm sorry, phone it's vibrating. Um, all right, so it's calculating your blue book value. So let's see. So 3260. Can we beat 3260? Whoops. Uh, trade in <laughs> 35, 35, uh, 34. Okay, so an average is 3,500 on the trade in. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. I wonder what if we click, uh, very good. So from 3,500 to 3,900, wow, a whopping $400. <laughs> and if you have it in excellent. Wow, another two hundred dollars. So, <laughs> so yeah, not a whole lot here. What about private party? I wonder what happens there. Okay, fifty-seven, fifty-seven, ninety-two. All right, I'll take that. All right, donate my car. No, no, we're we're not we're not gonna donate my car. All right, so that's how it compares. So okay, now the interesting thing here is. Um, I will, um, you know, I was thinking about doing it all in one video is uh, doing uh, some comparison. So I pulled up like Auto Trader and I pulled up like cars.com, but uh, I'm thinking that maybe I'll do a different video. So this will be a, this is a video kind of to wrap it all up is uh, the value of my car. Now, obviously I'm not, in, I'm not looking to sell my car at, at this moment, but uh, the way it is right now, I'm definitely not going to be trading it in for this or even for that. And I'm not going to be selling it even for that. Oh, okay. Well, that's a, that's a good spread right there. So from in excellent condition. Okay. Yeah. No, not going to be selling it anytime soon, but it's interesting to see how, uh, you know, that's, that's what they think that the trade in is. Now, the funny thing is that the dealers who are taking in cars still at this amount. Okay. I can close this. Or, you know, even at this amount, they're putting these cars back on the lot for <laughs> sometimes way more than double of what they paid for it. Because they know that for the right buyer, uh, these cars are valued, you know, way more than than the, the trade-in. And, and I understand they got to make money, like I said at the beginning. But, oh, my God, you know, I, I've seen some cars, like, just because somebody has a town car, like a relatively low mileage um say like 08, 09, they're going to be putting it out there for like 15 grand. So <laughs> if they took it in here, yeah, there's a lot of bargaining that, that can happen. But at the same time, I think they, they know that they have a special car in, on their hand and maybe somebody didn't appreciate it, but the new, the new owner will. All right, we'll, we'll do this in another video. We'll, we'll go shopping and maybe we'll pull up another website. All right, everybody, we'll see you.